Now I only have one question. Which one of those conspirators beat the shit out of Cassie in that hallway? Yo, what's up? This bruh man from the fifth float. And you tuned in to Forgotten Kings TV. Let's talk about it, y'all. Diddy is now being hit with more accusations. According to reports, a total of 120 people have now stepped forward making accusations against Sean Diddy Combs. That's right, y'all. According to this attorney by the name of Tony Busby, he claims that he represents 120 accusers with allegations that go back more than 20 years ago. The attorney then went on to say out of the 120 accusers stepping forward, 25 of them were minors at the time of these alleged incidents. And again, some of these incidents date back as early as 91. Okay, according to this attorney, anyone who partook in these acts alongside Diddy will also be exposed as well. As of right Right now, anyone with an accusation against Diddy can now reach out and contact this hotline number that was created by this attorney, Tony Busby. And again, uh, this is where we are with it right now. Of course, Diddy's legal team have put out a statement addressing these claims, denying all allegations, and they say they're ready to, you know, have that day in court, right? Because right now, every day, it just seems like more and more people are coming forward, making accusations against Diddy. And again, you know, if convicted, Diddy could spend the rest of his life behind bars. So this is definitely something serious, and um, a lot of people have been conflicted on social media. Of course, as we know, people like Dr. Umar and others uh, believe that Diddy is being conspired against, right? As we all know, Diddy called out a liquor company he was in business with, Diageo, um, for racial discrimination. And, you know, Dr. Umar and others believe that ever since he called out this liquor company, here comes this conspiracy. So moments ago, D.L. Hewley responded to not only Dr. Umar, but others who believe that Diddy is being conspired against ever since calling out this liquor company. Now, again, y'all let me know, man. What are your thoughts on the latest controversy involving Diddy? Again, do you believe some of these accusations? Do you think this whole situation is getting out of hand now, seeing that hotlines are being created? Hundreds of people are now coming forward with more allegations. I'm just curious to know, what are your thoughts on all of this down in the comment section below? And also, what are your thoughts on D.L. Hewley calling out those defending Diddy during all of this controversy? Because again, a lot of people are conflicted witnessing what's been going on these past couple of months. So again, I'm curious to hear, what are your thoughts down in the comment section below? But look, man, this is all I got for y'all today. Again, my name is Sensei Rip. Till next time, peace. Is, if you look at the indictments that have come down over the last few years, you've had Bill Cosby, you have had uh, R. Kelly, you have had now P Puffy. Uh, it is like they've in in indicted the 90s. And a phenomenon that seems to always happen or all too often happen is when these indictments would come down to these people who are beloved in our communities, these people who are, uh, you know, legends in our community. Uh, there's almost a um, nonsensical rush to make sense out of something that doesn't. And I think it's because we hold them higher standard because of the way they made us feel. I think that that is how bad we as a people generally needs to be feel. We hold these people up. Like it, it, it wasn't um, Cliff Huxable that was accused. It was, it, it was Bill Cosby, but we conflate the two. It isn't the people that sing the songs, the songs that are doing it, it's the artists. Um, case in point, what has happened with Puppy? I've heard any number of people uh, one guy in particular who I'm not going to say, he went on and on and on about how this was a setup because of his uh, business dealings with the liquor company Diageo and how he was getting too big for his britches and how this is a scheme to bring down the black man. And you know what? I am going to take this gentleman at his word. Maybe he is uh, privy to information uh, that only those in the inner circle or inner workings of Puffy's empire would know about. I do find it odd that he would know that much. And instead of telling it to us, he's not telling it to a prosecutor. But I'll take you at your word. Maybe you do have insight as to what happened. Maybe you do have insight as to uh, the inner workings and how these things got weaponized against him. Maybe you do. And I'm going to take you at the word. Maybe you meet, you're earnest when you make these accusations, when you say these things. Um, maybe they did. Uh, set him up because he was getting too high on the horse. Maybe they did have all these people testify against him. Maybe they did uh, ship vats of baby oil and, and dildos and KY jelly. Maybe they did scrape the serial numbers off of AK-47. Maybe they did all of that in an attempt to, as you say, bring him down. Maybe they did. 
I'm going to take you at your word because I think that you're earnestly saying what you think you believe, what you believe. Maybe they did all of those things. Maybe, as you say, and we all know that there can be uh, conspiratorial aspects that are leveled up black man. That is true. So maybe this person knows something. He's telling us in, in an earnest way. Um, he is laying out the unvarnished truth. And maybe if we took it seriously, this wouldn't be happening. I'm going to give you the benefit of the doubt. And I'm going to uh, say that you are probably telling the truth from your perspective. Probably You probably are. And maybe it all makes sense to you. Maybe the setup makes sense to you. Maybe all that happened makes sense to you. All the allegations, the hours and hours and hours of investigation, the years of investigation, the multi-page indictment. Because it's funny to me that the very same people who say these kinds of things, they don't believe a multi-page indictment uh, against a celebrity they love, but they'll believe a lie on the Internet about somebody they don't want to vote for, them, which seems confusing to me. But I will take you at your word. You seem to be an earnest man who's only concerned about what is the, the things that are done right. So maybe all these things happen. Maybe a conspiratory the conspiracy is true. And I only have one question. Which one of those conspirators beat the shit out of Cassie in that hallway? Which one of them? Which one of his business dealings? Which one of those people he was in business with? Which one of those people who were trying to bring him down beat that girl and kicked that girl and dragged her by her hair? So if that uh, is, is your stance and all those other things are true and they did all those things, we need to get the dude who brutally beat the shit out of that woman in plain sight. That's a little note from the GED section. Got a jazz report coming up in 15 minutes. It's the DL Hughley Show. Y'all know the MREC room etiquette? Peace, you now tuned in to MREC TV. Someone wasn't on protocol. There are consequences. It's your boy, Reggie Curl, you know what I'm saying? This is my cousin, Strong Joe, you know what I'm saying? He's coming by. You no, know, I know me old. He's fucking with lambskin condoms. I don't even want my man to eat my because I eat meat from Aldi's. The fuck wrong with you? Aldi's, you should eat this. We don't know what the fuck that meat is. Yeah. Real. I heard a nigga get in prison. That's not the, the part about it. The part about it is he had the audacity to ask me why I ain't helping my sister. Ain't no point of both of us get. I step up, look him right in his eyes. <laughs> he go to pat me down. Twenty dollars, homeboy. I'm like, <laughs> no sir. 